Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Forgotten Realms, the lands of Faerun. Actually, not Vardenfell or the Elder Scrolls this time, because today we are testing out and seeing what all the fuss is about with Baldur's Gate 3. Now, this is completely blind, so you're getting raw first impressions here as a part of this video. We'll be exploring this thing together. Now, I do have a little bit of experience with D&D. I've been a dungeon master for things, you know, 5e for like freaking years played 3e played everything even advanced dungeons and dragons back when i was in freaking elementary school so i hopefully will at least know a couple things about the game and the world and then i played baldur's gate 2 probably over a decade ago now i was looking for my box but i rearranged my closet that's out of screen over there in the world that does not exist to you uh, but i couldn't find it because i just freaking i just reorganized the closet uh, but we're going to see how this game is. I've heard of a lot of incredible things. I expect greatness. I expect to be blown away. I will be selecting the balanced difficulty because I want to experience this the way that Larian intended. And now we're going we're gonna to get into it. Let's see what we have. Already the art seems awesome. I will go I, like I am going to let cinematics play uh, because again this is my first experience with the game and I want to you know I want to get I want to get the real the real impression even though I am of course streaming over here on on Twitch Arena at this at this point in time uh mind flayers I'm guessing yes okay Half orc. I will say, mind flayers are some of my favorite Dungeons and Dragons villains. I've always loved their lore. I think they're so freaking weird. The Cthulhu face, the eating of brains. I mean, what what isn't there to love? What is more metal than a mind flayer? That. Doesn't look good. Don't need it. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, that was horrifying. No, not my eye. You get you get the fuck away from me, buddy. Oh. Okay, that's that's insane. Uh, yeah, the eye hole. Don't don't screw with the eyes. Enable tutorials. We will. Uh, because I, again, I I have not played this game yet. Who am I? Let's find out. Origin. Okay, so this is like our uh, characters. I'm going to go with the custom. And I kind of want to relive my Dungeons & Dragons fantasy here. So I'm going to go with a dwarf. And let's see what we get. Dwar dwarves are durable and unyielding as their homes of stone. Dwarves are some of the finest warriors, miners, and smiths of Faerun. We have a movement speed of 7.5 meters a turn. Uh, we have proficiency in battle axes, hand axes, light hammer, war hammer. Awesome. Dark vision. Fantastic. So we can see when the light is low. And then we have advantage on saving throws against poison and resistance to poison damage. I will be taking a dwarf because my first ever Dungeons & Dragons character, back like I mentioned when I was in freaking elementary school. Yep, yep. The, old, the uncool kid in the back with his polyhedral dice playing his Game Boy Color. Um, yeah, that, that was, that was me. <laughs> My first Dungeons and Dragons character was called Bindo the Strong. And so we've got to, we've got to get his, uh, what, uh, his, his son here to maintain the legacy that started so long ago. So shield dwarves, great losses in ancient wars against goblins and orcs have led these dwarves to adopt a cynical mindset. 
but they will endure anything to restore their ancestral homelands. Okay. We have uh, Duragar. Once enslaved by the eldritch mind flares, Duragar adapted to our freedom with harsh practicality. Their cold demeanors and gift of stealth are well known. We're going to go with the shield dwarf. Uh, not the gold dwarf. That's pansy crap. Okay. I am I am the shield dwarf. I will be the bastion of the vanguard. Uh, that Because that's what we're going to go for. All right. Big. Bindo. Going to bindo your bones. Exactly. That right there. That is a stout man. I mean, look at these just bulging forearms. He's, he's, he's. What he lacks in height, he makes up for in bulging pectoralis muscles. So let's continue. Uh, a rogue dwarf. That doesn't sound like something you would typically find. <laughs> and something that I will not do. I'm torn between a barbarian and a paladin. Uh, I, I, I was, before I started up the game, I kind of wanted to go barb, but. Paladin gives me a little bit of spell casting, so I kind of get to explore that part of the game, too. Absolute unit. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Look at that. That That's like a... That, that's a door with legs. It's a really small door. It's like a, it's like a pet door. <laughs> you know, it's a doggy door. But God damn it, it's a door. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's decide here between a paladin and a barb. Fueled by the oath, you swore to uphold justice and righteousness. You are a beacon of hope in dark times. We get lay on hands and then uh, divine sense. So advantage against our attack rolls for celestials, fiends, and undead. And we have a channel charge. Okay, so it's just like 5e. And then uh, we can rage, deal extra damage, 10 turns. Uh, you can't concentrate on spells while raging. While not armored. I thought rage... Okay, it looks... Is that, Does it keep going right here? Because I, I believe... If I'm remembering correctly. There it is. Yeah, yeah. I was like, we get some resistances from rage. So yeah, we have resistance to physical damage and advantage on strength checks and saving throws. You know, I we were just talking... <laughs> the sentient brick. Yeah. We were just talking about, you know just the mass here that we see on this guy. So I, I feel like he's more fit to be a barbarian. Like, Bindo wants to Bindo your bones so bad, he will absolutely destroy his own mental state to make it done when he rages. So let's go with a barb. We're going to stick with it. I think my original character was a uh, just a dwarf warrior back in the day. So this is a little more in tune with his ancestor and yeah we're going with we're going with barb now we got to pick a background well whatever grants me the prowess of death hewing bodies in twain is what i'm going for and that sounds like a soldier you are trained in battlefield tactics and combat as a sentient brick being thrown at your enemies, having served in a militia, mercenary company, or officer corps, shows smart tactics and bravery on the battlefield to enhance your prowess. I think that's perfect. Charlatan's like uh, a rogue. We're not a criminal. The only entertainment we're doing is in the gladiatorial arena of combat by dismembering our foes. <laughs> So not that an outlander. Oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> Just for the Morrowind reference, you grew up in the wilds learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. Surviving unusual hazards of the wild will enhance your prowess and understanding. Ooh. Okay. I'm torn between an outlander and a soldier. Outlander kind of fits a barb. You know, being out in the sticks because no one wants to be around you as you rage and rip the limbs off of trees and, you know, eat them or whatever barbarians do. <laughs> and then a uh, folk hero, champion of the common people, challenging tyrants. I guess it's going to come down to the skill bonuses we get, actually. So let me look here. Soldier, athletics and intimidation, and outlanders, athletics and survival. 
<laughs> if you're the Outlander, grab the limeware in the tutorial. Exactly. <laughs> yes. I think I'm going to go with soldier because intimidation sounds like something a barbarian character would do. We want to be as good at intimidating as we can. And, you know, our head cannon here, we were in a we were in a militia or something out, out there. A mercenary band searching for gold and treasure across the Forgotten Realms. Because what else is a brick supposed to do? A brick with literal legs. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. We're going to be the soldier, like I mentioned. Now, let's take a look at the abilities. Plus two to proficiency. Fantastic. And then we do want to max that old strength. Dexterity of 13 is fine, I guess. Uh, con. Int Wisdom. Yeah, this is a fine roll. I mean, we have the intelligence of a field mouse, but that makes sense because a barb, you know, bar barbarian wants to do one thing. We want to rip people's arms off and beat them into a coma with them. Like, that's it. Like, th we have one goal in life. It is not to be a warrior poet. It is only to be a warrior. So I think this is actually pretty good. Yeah, you don't need smarts when you can smash. Exactly right. So I actually like this roll. I think this is fine. Skill proficiencies. Uh, animal handling, perception, intimidation. Perception goes off of our wisdom. So it's like we're okay at perception. I think I'm going to change animal handling. Uh, Probably should do like athletics or something. Oh, can I not take it? Oh, okay. So it's either nature or animal handling. Or survival. I think I'm going to go survival instead of animal handling. Pet all of the dogs. Okay, actually, never mind. I hover over animal handling and look. Influence animals and pet all of the dogs. Okay, done. I'm sorry. Why did I Why did I ever think I should take anything else? We're petting dogs. That's That's perfect. We're, we're already done. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's proceed. Level 1 Barbarian Shield Dwarf. And Bindo is the name. It's <laughs> stacking the deck, you're right. If, if you're not petting all the dogs, what's the point on going on an adventure? Okay, if you're not out there to freaking love on the animals, you, you know, and split people in twain, in twixt. What's the point? We are Bindo, the Shield Dwarf Barbarian, and we will proceed. You need a guardian. Choose one. Okay, we need a guardian. Oh, God. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Let me think back. Let me enter the palace of my mind. I need to think back to when I, to when I was, again, in that first D&D &D campaign. What was my freaking brother's character? Oh, God. I believe he was a rogue. And we didn't have any expanded material, so chances are he was a human. <laughs> or a dwarf and a gnome would be a pretty solid pair. What we lack in height, we make up for in tenacity. Uh, human rogue or a gnome. I feel like a dwarf being guarded by a gnome, because this is our guardian, is pretty hysterical. We do have short gang. Yeah, short gang in the chat. Let's... Let's keep it short gang. Do we want to be gnome short gang? So are we World of Warcraft short gang? Or are we uh, Tolkien short gang with the halfling? That's the real question. Let's read the descriptions and then we'll decide. Small yet capable. Halflings prefer the comforts of home and hearth. But their natural luck and dexterity makes them fine adventurers. Okay, so somebody a little more dexterous than us. That could be good. Uh, Small. Gnomes, small, clever, and energetic. They use their long lives to explore Faerun's brightest corners and darkest depths. Is it mirrored? Does the halfling look like they got kind of stretched? You know when you, you know when you have like a, uh, you have a, a picture, right? And you don't, you, you don't grab the corner to stretch it. You just go wide. That's what I'm kind of getting from the halfling. Like, look at the facial features. Looks like we just we didn't grab the corner. We just grabbed the sides and just just widened it out a little bit. <laughs> the Photoshop Hobbit, yeah. 
All right, we're going to go with the gnome. I like the idea of a gnome and a dwarf. That just sounds like a hysterical band to come across at a tavern. I drink with a gnome and a dwarf. All right, here we go. Onward. Okay. Is this in one of those mine? I think this is one of those mind flayer ships. Yep. <laughs> the halftime show. That's good. <laughs> okay. Something tells me that this is about to go very poorly for this picturesque town in the mountains. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, go. Go, buddy, go. That's not a cloud. Oh! Shit! That... D screw the tractor beam. That's 1980s sci-fi crap. We're going to literally deconstruct them and rebuild them inside the ship on command. That's busted. What is that? Darth Vader is rolling in his grave. He, he If I had that fucking technology, Princess Leia, I would have had her years ago. Yeah, okay. Not so okay. More okay now. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, he's, he's ha doing the avatar sex thing. And he's gone. What? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Are they more half-orcs coming to save the other one? I'm assuming that's a half-orc. I actually have no idea. Uh, fly. Hacks, yeah. <laughs> Welcome in, Penguin. Yeah, this is uh, this is a very in-depth mod. Larian Studios, they I mean they know their way around a mod engine. Nice. Okay. Where are you now? Still on the ship. Well, that's not great. Gith. That's... Ah, there you go. Penguin with the lore. That's awesome. The Gith. Morrowind and Unreal 12. That would be pretty crazy, I will say. That would be pretty, pretty phenomenal. Hey, there we are. Bindo. I love the, like, uh, <clears throat> organic technology. It's so like Geiger. Uh, it reminds me of uh, Alien. Okay, journal updated. Escape the Nautiloid. 
Aye, aye, Captain. I love... <laughs> okay, I'm already glad. I'm already glad we went dwarf, because look, look at his little trundle. Look at his little arms swinging. <laughs> he's, he's doing his best. He looks like one of those strong men. You know, like world's strongest man, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, first impressions. The freaking world is beautiful. Lord, I feel better. Okay, restoration. The halftime show, that's right. Oh my... Oh my god. It's called a... Sp it's, it's, it's the sphincter? We have to go through the, f the sphincter of the ship? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that's... Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, rotate your camera using middle mouse. Okay. Uh, goblin. Gold, we'll take that. That's always a good thing. I'm guessing we have this, like, light in front of us because of dark vision. Let's go. Can we, can we check out the brain jar? What's in the brain jar? Oh, no, we can't. Okay. I hear someone saying, help us over here in the corner. Oh, God. Okay. This is one of the... This this over here, that's one of those streamers who do those, like, subathons. Release us. Release us. Yeah. <laughs> the, guy, the guy's been streaming for seven years. <laughs> Please. Release us. <laughs> you replaced all your doors with meaty sphincters. Now that is a sentence I never thought I'd read. Yes. But that is awesome. To save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Oh Please. god. Before they return. They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Uh, that I guess I, I I don't know. <laughs> Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Free us. Are you gonna? I'm not grabbing the brain. It's already probably too late. If the brain's sentient, it could be one of those freaking uh, what you call it. It could be one of those, like, uh, mind devourers or something. So we free it, and then it sprouts legs, and then it tries to eat our soul. I'm going to investigation check first. Okay, skill check. Some dialogue options require a skill check. A dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character skills add a bonus. All right. Let's see what we got. It's a DC 10, and we nat 20. The first roll of the game. Okay. That's nice. I'll take that. If that doesn't, if that's not a signal from the from the gods, I you know I don't know what is. A, a nat freaking twenty first roll of the game, baby. You notice a dema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Okay, so all we got is you notice an edema, swelling, causing pressure. I'm gonna... Oh, gosh. I, I feel... I, I just want to break it. Like, I don't trust it. I'm gonna break the skull. Skull problem, fix the problem. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break the skull. I feel like if the brain is talking to us, they're beyond saving. Alright, we get a plus three. Let's see how the second roll of the game goes. Nine plus two, so we still... Or plus three. Yeah, we're still good. I don't trust it. Or no, okay. Well, I thought it meant break the skulls and kill the brain, but looks like we're just... We're just going for it. <laughs> but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient. Should it prove a threat? That's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna mutilate the brain. 
that's 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 just weird. I I I didn't I didn't sign up for this. Okay, there we go. 18 on the DC. I don't trust it. We're mutilating the brain. The creature seems unaware of your interference. <laughs> Press X to hands. mutilate the brain. <laughs> I knew I knew it I knew it was gonna be some some brain creature listening something behind your eyes seizes in recognition oh god yep we must go to the helm at the helm we are needed okay wait we should go to the helm at the helm we're needed but it's so cuddly. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, just brain juice, cerebral spinal fluid, and the arms of a shaved gargoyle. They're not even freaking, they don't even have hair. Um, isn't that, doesn't that just scream cuddly? This is going to be the next designer pet of uh, 2024. A, a mind devourer. <laughs> or an intellect devourer, whatever they're called. Um, uh, let's go with... I'll go, but not with you. I still don't trust it. Us, friend. Wait. I'm going to say I'm not like you. It says you are us. As though querying an unseen advisor. You are. Oh, God. I think it's trying to mind control us. I mean, it said, friend, you're right. Uh, I'm going to say you have to stay here. We listen to our friend. Our friend you saved us. Okay, it listened. Nice. Us. <laughs> Just stopping by saying hi. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for stopping by, Penguin. I hope your uh, first roll of the game is also a nat 20. All right, so we have the brain. And ladies and gentlemen, it has the status effect of lobotomized, <laughs> which is always a good sign. Better not be cursed. Okay, uh, we need a... I'll come back for it if I have the opportunity. I still don't trust it. I don't, you know, it's a, it's a brain in a jar that's been manipulated by the mind flares. So I don't want to, I don't want to overstep my boundaries too early. Get mind controlled. Let's see what's over here and then I'm going to head up to the front. Okay, it doesn't look like too much is going on over there. We see another meaty sphincter back there. That's going to be the... That, so we had the we had the guy, you know, the brain as the designer pet of 2024. Whoa! Okay. All right. Ab abomination your head throbs and your skin tingles visions rush past a dragon swing oh. a silver sword and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes whoa oh. my head what is this Blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Now we're it's teamwork, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, you help you help a brain. It mind controlled you while you're talking to the gith lady, and everything works out. That's that's how that's how the universe works. All right, so together we might survive. I'm just gonna ask, who are you? Okay, fair enough. 
All right, what do you suggest? How do we how do we get out of here? We exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once <laughs> Technically, we we're all brains in jars. <laughs> Ooh. That that looks a little better than the imps in oblivion. Uh, I'll give I'll give them that. <laughs> that. That looks slightly more intimidating than the imps from oblivion. <laughs> okay, so first fight of the game. Let's figure out how combat works. Uh, I have a pommel strike, a rush attack. Uh, I do have a ranged attack. Short bow. Hamstring lacerate. That sounds pretty fun. Who doesn't like a little laceration? Um, so we're far away. I think I can do the rush attack. Try that. Over here on this imp. She goes right. Bendo goes left. Boom. When you're finished, click the button in the right corner or space. Okay. And now let's see what Bendo has. Bendo has... Prepare, so I guess that's getting a weapon ready. Yeah, deal three damage on your next turn. We have cleave, 1d12, plus five. Swing your weapon in a large arc. So that's an AoE attack. We have our main hand attack, four to 15, and then we have lacerate, four to 15, to do a bleed, but it takes two turns. Or no, the bleed is two turns. Uh, I guess let's just start nice and easy with a main hand attack. Try me. And we miss. Okay, we used up <laughs> we used up all of our luck <laughs> on the first roll of the game. We're already out of luck. <laughs> hey, at least they got a critical miss. Okay, so we're in front. I'm going to lacerate. And then I can still move, so let's uh, get ready here. And then back to Bindo. Let's try another main hander. Man, one shot kill. Now we're talking. And I guess start moving over to the other side. Your turn. We'll just do a main hand. It only has four health. I want to burn all of my abilities. Now, to, the helm. to the helm we go. You're surprisingly adequate in battle. Really? That's all I get? All I get is adequate? I felt like I kicked... Come on, lady. Come on. I guess I guess she'll have to take some time to warm up to us. We we need a we need to dust off the uh, the old the old weapons. All right. I'm gonna blame it on being cooped up in that uh, brain jar. <laughs> so sure, okay, we'll take adequate, but we'll we'll be splitting people in two pretty soon. <laughs> this is a hell of a first date. It really is. All right, let's search this dead thrall. What do we have going on over here? Gold short sword. Simple robe. It is no better than what we have now. So much in the spirit of the meaty sphincters, now we have arterial mesh <laughs> to climb up. <laughs> they're, really, they're really digging deep in the anatomy book. Next, this is going to be wall of sinew and muscle fascia. <laughs> Arterial mesh is the name of your band. That's actually... I could see that. If you do like, uh, you know, yeah, like indie rock, I could see that with a grind core band. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. But there's three perfectly good buttons right here. I mean, what 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 could possibly go wrong? A uh, mind flare pod. 
Let me out. Okay, let's uh let's go help the let's go help the trapped person first. And then we'll then we'll start pressing buttons randomly. We have no time for stragglers. Shadow Heart. I'm gonna do my barbarian action, grip the pod's lid and pull. Oh damn it, Bindo. Come on. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going. I'm going. All right. Uh, and <laughs> I got freaking shocked by it. Hold on. Cannot take reactions. I got shocked because I tried to open the pod. <laughs> it's a bender, not a polar fair. The console appears dormant. Let's hit it and uh, find out what happens. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Oh, damn it. Uh, let's look for a switch. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go up to the front of the of the room and then the hit those buttons. Unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Okay, so we need to find whatever goes in the socket. I should have stuck to bending... The pulling has backfired. Needs a key. Man, everything in here is just... It's all locked away. You get nothing. The only things you can open here are meaty sphincters. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, battle. Let's start, uh, start moving. So the good thing is she has pretty decent initiative because I have literally nothing. I am a joke and a half of initiative. Oh, miss. Good start. <laughs> that just means it's, that just means it went well. Come on. All right, I will do the pommel strike. And miss the second attack. I'm gonna stay right next to Bindo. Dang, she's already at half health, actually. Holy crap, we're taking some freaking damage. Uh, I need to kill this guy. There you go, Bindo. 17 damage. Now we're talking. All right, let's uh, let's keep moving. So luckily, running past him got got the attention off of Lazelle over there. All right, let's move on up again. Stick to the main hand. And one shot, one kill. There you go. See, that's why we keep you around, Lazelle. That's why we keep you around. She thinks she's saving us, but really it's the opposite. <laughs> I am definitely saving her. Let me out. Okay, so pushing the middle woke the people up. Already dead. And pushing all the others does nothing. That's uh that's a good sign. Alright, let's get a little restore going. I'm guessing we we gotta go to another room or something. What's in here? Let oh, let's try hitting this tank. Oh, we got a backpack out of it? Backpack out of it and nothing. No help. Dang, I wanna say I wanna save the other companion, but it doesn't seem like uh doesn't seem like the keys in this room. I guess we may need to just move into the next. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a githyanki warrior. Ah, the Githyanki, yes. Okay, let's uh, break open the brain jar. Nothing. 
Well, sorry. I guess I guess we're gonna go check the other rooms and see if there's a way to come back and help her. Unless I'm just totally missing something on the surface, which I probably am. Okay, that's a good start, actually. There's a golden key. Let's go back for the chest. What's up for discussion? Well, there's a brain walking around. Is that the is that the good brain or is that the bad brain? Which is also a pretty decent band. Okay, I picked up Onyx. I'm guessing that's not it. The console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Okay, the same thing as before. I thought maybe I saw we picked up like an, a piece of Onyx back there. I thought maybe on the off chance that could be there. Right, 15 damage at level one. No, it is not 5e. They had to they had to inflate it a little bit. Okay, let's keep searching. Let's try this pod. Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Okay. Let's keep moving. How do I free the other woman? We're just gonna start hitting buttons. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod. Commanding the person inside to change. Oh, that's bad. That's that's not good. That is not a good start. <laughs> oh! I, I didn't mean it. It's... <laughs> It's not my fault. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Change her. Change to the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Okay. Bad, bad start. <laughs> Hopefully the pod doesn't open when we go back over there, though. Another brain. Okay, we got a brain. That's a good start. Hold on a second. Look at this. This is freaking awesome. Wow. That's insanity. So far, environment design, phenomenal. <laughs> is this a Morrowind RP? Yeah, it's very, very in-depth. <laughs> modded roleplay. So I see that intellect devourer running around. It makes me think like is this I'm, I'm going to try and attack it because it's running around these rooms. I want to make sure that it doesn't have like a uh, you know like the key to that other thing on it. Okay, nothing. Dang it. It was worth a shot. My gamer instincts were tingling. I was like, if the, if it's running around in the room, maybe it has the key. But it does not look like we were so lucky. Alright, if we found the lock in the other room, let's try the other side. <laughs> yes, playing a Dwimmer indeed. <laughs> a nice... Uh, you know, slightly smaller Dwimmer. He's he's stunted. He's like a bonsai tree. He was just really malnourished when he was born. <laughs> Mind Let me see if I can attack things. Okay, that's pretty cool. What? Not now. We must go to the helm. Okay. Okay. Um, so you can attack things in the environment. So that is a good. Okay, okay. Uh, attacking the environment, though. Let me see if there's anything else in here that I can break. Like, will this will this help at all? Are we gonna get any items? That actually hurt us. That that didn't go well at all. <laughs> Bindo the sentient Dwimmer brick. That's right. This does kind of look like an Oblivion realm. Yeah, the red and the black. Let's see. Wow. 
Well, I think we gave it our best shot. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go... I'm gonna continue, and I guess uh, she dies. Fun fact. <laughs> Let's keep going, I guess. Holy shit! Main rune, stay gone! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, speaking of oblivion, there, there are your imps. Oh, damn. Do it. We will deal with the geek after we escape. Geek. Is that an insult? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna rush attack the first. Or do we go? Let's go to the hell boar. Okay, so I can double attack if I rush first. That's actually pretty good to know. Greetings from Istanbul, Thracian. Thanks for stopping in. Great Odin's Raven. Nice. Thank you so much for the gift to Bonkers. That's awesome. Feeling the love. We're feeling good today. Whoa. You might you really like the Oblivion mod. <laughs> Ah, you miss. You can't hit this great living sentient door. <laughs> Alright, we're going to finish them off. Then we're going to run to the left. 7.5 meter sprint. Like the true athlete that we are. Then I'm going to move up here on the lesser imp again. And a miss! Oh my god. Oh, you deserve it. Thank you so much. That's awesome. And then Thracian, also, with the freaking, with the prime. Thank you so much, Thracian. That's awesome. All right, we got a 14-turn clock. I just I just noticed that. Um, okay, so there are opportunity attacks. Good to know. We did. We talked about this. Yeah, you know, the doors are meaty sphincters. <laughs> when's the last time... Okay. Real talk. When's the last time you saw the word sphincter written? <laughs> like... I don't know. The, the gastroenterologist or something? You know what I mean? That was a bit of a... That was a bit of a shock. I was taken aback. Um, let me see. I can actually do some bonus actions here now that I see. So... Over here on the left, we have our action. It's our primary source. But then we also have our bonus actions here, I guess, from the triangles in the middle. And then we even have a cantrip that we can use. So I have been ignoring the bonus action so far. So I can shove? Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Learning the combat still. Learning the combat still. <laughs> yeah, you're right. If, if you were going to see it somewhere, it probably would be Twitter. All right, I think I can melee attack this guy. Nice! One shot, one kill with Bindo. I think we've gotten, like, four crossbows so far. Okay, so we've got to com kill Commander Zalk, who has 150 health. And uh, I, 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 we have uh, 14 and 12, so I, I guess we should just let them fight it out. I must reach the helm. Oh my gosh, it, you're right, it is X now. I forgot that. That is so, that's so ridiculous. I don't know, what, what are people's thoughts on that? I, I'm actually just going to run to the helm and ignore these two now that I'm thinking about it. They're going to fight, and I'm going to run by them. You think it was a mistake. I agree. I think... Because getting rid of the name Twitter 
you just lost like years of, of brand equity. Everybody knows the name. Oh shit, hold on, what's going on? Hurry before they strike. Uh, okay, yeah, we're we're going. We're running. We're we're doing the best we can. I guess the helm is Can we make sure I can't see the helm. I'm assuming it's just deeper in the freaking world. I guess I can dash, right? Yeah, so I can dash. I can dash over here. All right, I'm going to dash again. I got to remember that this is D&D, &D, so I can do these things. So I can double my movement speed with the dash. There we go. I got these tiny, short, stubby legs. Bindo can go nowhere. <laughs> dead, dead name Twitter, yeah. Good move. All right, let's uh, cut down this imp. We have 10 turns left. I'm guessing that up there is the... The item, so we should be good. We should be close enough. Alright, we'll move up to the next. Although this does put me alone. Gosh, I kinda just wanna hold, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till Bindo gets in close. And then I'm gonna dash up. I just didn't want her to be there alone, basically. Because she only has 7 health, where at least Bindo has 12. <laughs> For the authentic D&D &D experience, yes. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Hold on, they're, spa they're spawning more enemies. Okay, alright. Uh, clock, clock is ticking. Come on, one shot. Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna run, 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 run. They they had 80 health. We're we're not screwing around anymore. <laughs> what do I have to lose? Go, Bindo, go. Use your tiny little dwarven legs. Your little your little freaking midget feet. No, oh, he killed the mind flayer. Now he's coming for us. No, that's, that's, uh, that's rough. Okay, okay, transponder. Hit it, hit it, hit it. The Helm's alien transponder. Ugh. You made it in time. That, that's the DM saying, you know, we, we only have two hours left in the session. Y'all need to hurry the hell up. Summon the reinforcements. That's an issue. Foos! <laughs> Dovahkiin DLC incoming, confirmed. Todd Howard has been spotted with the CEO of Larian Studios. <laughs> God, look at that forearm strength. You can do it! Okay. Not the tentacle. Anything but the tentacle. The gi the jiggly. <laughs> hey, yeah. That's not the only jiggly tentacle in this game, so I've heard. <laughs> Okay. Oh god, we're crashing into The Witcher 3. No. I don't I don't know why, but those ruins those ruins made reminded me of, of like The Witcher 3. Or The Witcher 2 in that like uh that like ruin in the middle of the game. Another mind flayer. Bindo, no! Hmm. 
No, Bento! Oh, God. Okay. Who saved us? <laughs> you get through. Get that ten tentacle face loser over there. Whoa. Okay. Oh, fuck my back. God. That. That frickin' Black Briar Mead was something else last night. Tadpole squirms in your skull. God, the, the tadpole. The. I thought the worm in the tequila is bad. Now they're putting tadpoles in the freaking ale. God, I gotta quit drinking. I gotta quit freaking drinking. I had this crazy dream. Freaking sphincters. What are you gonna do? All right, uh, let's uh, check ourselves for injuries. Faction, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. <laughs> That's actually great, detective. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Journal updated. Find a cure. Okay, well, it's like in Morrowind. We have a journal. Escape the nautiloid. Press J to view. Autosave successful. All right, let's get oriented. Okay, we have a map. Uh, you can teleport to waypoints. You can place custom markers. Awesome. Uh, we have a journal. We've escaped the hells on the Nautiloid and crashed somewhere back in the material plane. Oh, I like being in the material plane. That is that is where reality does exist. Inspiration. Okay, so that's... I mean, that's a nice dialogue. That's kind of cool. Uh, they hide it here instead of having it on the screen. This guy's just a backlog of dialogue so you can review things. Well, would you look at this. What a beautiful day for an adventure. You know, just surrounded by... by literal shards of muscle. Fresh water. There must be a Holy fire. shit, what is that? Oh, is that the ship? Is that like a kraken? What, what the... Oh, no, it's the ship. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, good lord, we've... No, I thought we crashed in The Witcher 3. We freaking crashed in Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, highlight nearby items, making it easier to find loot. I can press left alt. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. The environment is so detailed, it is kind of hard to see what you can interact with. Just base game. All right, item context menu. Again, where this is blind, so I'm, I'm trying to get acquainted here. Um, every item has a context menu where you may use them. Tag items. Okay. Camp supply pack stores our thing. Alchemy pouch, keychain. Hat. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. You call that a knife? This is a knife. <laughs> now we're talking, baby. <laughs> Got the crocodile Dundee dwarf going. Big fan of the material plane. I, I as well, am a big fan of the material plane. I like the way that it exists. In reality, you know, everything's made out of atoms. You can interact with stuff. There's no, like, fey creatures to uh, tempt you into making horrible decisions. It's not made out of fire. Oh, hey, I think it's that lady that we failed to save. She's been doing work. Look at all the bodies. Oh my god, Crocodile Dun Dwarf. That's that's excellent. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least you made the effort. Suddenly you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. 
confusion. I'm a bit of a hero. I know. Yeah, I tried to save you on the ship. Uh, what about it? You know, just doing my doing my daily uh, rescues, you know. It's called being a hero. Nothing uh nothing too crazy. I know. Yeah, I tried to save you. Hey. What was I going to do not save you? <laughs> uh, no, just just don't forget that I failed, but I did try. I did try. All right. Did you feel that? The same thing in your head. Yes, the tadpole. You drank the tadpole too? Um, that mind swap. I experienced it before on the ship. Same. You felt it too. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. Kissed <laughs> the toe. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yep, you know how it is, man. All right, these things are going to consume us and turn us into mind flayers. Uh, I feel so you know about mind flayers calm down I feel fine I'm gonna say you know about mind flayers tell me everything I don't know much, but enough to be afraid this is how they breed we host their spawn and once they're ready they'll tear right through us I'm not sure how much time we have left but I'm not going to wait to find out you and I need a healer okay a healer? I feel like we need a neuroscientist. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. Well, you know, hey. <laughs> Not only am I a hero, I am also a barbarian. So stand aside, woman. My rage can shatter anything. Break your arm. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully Bindo that lock, exactly. Alright, uh... Oh, she didn't let me. She just said I'd break that. Hey, come on. You gotta at least let me try. I'm gonna say it'd be nice to have another Where hand in the fight. We gotta grow the party. Moments. You know, as any good D&D right. campaign. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. Well, Shadowheart, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Bindo. And I'm going to... I want to know how you ended up on this ship, to be honest. That is none of your business. Never mind. I suggest we concentrate <laughs> on surviving. Shut down. Damn it. Grow the party so you want to marry her. Well, hey, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Shadowheart here is a fine... It looks like a fine person, stout warrior. I mean, look at the blood. Perfect, perfect uh, display of power for any any bachelor dwarf, you know, such as myself. But uh, we got we to gotta get to know her a little better. I want to understand if she is as into, you know, cleaving enemies in twain uh, and just reveling in the blood and guts of your enemies as much as I am. Because, you know, a barbarian, you got to have another barbarian. A barbarian can't be with anybody else because... They'd probably kill them. <laughs> but I don't know, you know. I don't I don't have any uh I don't I don't have any reservations about Shadowheart yet. Let's uh, let's keep going. Lead the way. Welcome. She actually just leveled up. Okay, you've gained enough experience to level up. Use the arrow on your character portrait to level up. Okay. Uh, the arrow on the character portrait that I don't see. Ah, this character portrait, not the one in the lower part of the screen. Barbarian level 2. We have now gained reckless attack. Until your next turn, you have advantage on attack rolls, but enemies also have advantage against you. Our health is 23. And we got Danger Sense. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws against traps, spells, and surfaces. Okay, Perceptive Dwarf. A homebrew Bioshock game. Party grabbed the literal first NPC they interacted with, kidnapped <laughs> to explore Rapture. That's about as D&D &D as it gets, right? You, you sit back 
as a DM. You write all this awesome lore. You build this incredible story. You're like, they're going to go here. They're going to pick up that thread. They're going to do this thing, that thing, this. Bu-. 20 seconds in, they get arrested and kill a guard. Every, let's, every time. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's that's how it goes. I, I hope their hostage sit situation worked out well. All right, let's level up Shadowheart. Class features spell slot, divinity, uh, turn undead. Nice. Invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion within three meters of the illusion. Attack rolls have advantage. Nice. Okay, so she's a cleric, so... I'm not going to say I'm not glad I went Paladin, but we do have a Cleric already, so that's good. Less worried about healing now. Let's take all this stuff. Well, apparently the brains aren't hiding anything in their little brain folds. Let's try the door. It is locked. I'm going to try and attack it. Zero. What the hell? What? What? What's that door made out of? It looks like wood. You're telling me Bindo's axe can't strike down a wee wooden door? That is. That's not true. The mighty Bindo does not yield to wood. A cherished party member. <laughs> Yes, the Pinto's axe. That's how it goes. Intellect devourer. Uh, so we gained one party member and lost another. High ground rules. Positioning is important. Ranged attacks from above are more likely to hit. Okay. Good to know. Boom. That one's dashing over. Okay. That one's dashing over. It was up on top. Damn, these are dexterous little brains. Okay, what do we have? Main hand attack, concussion smash, firebolt. We're going firebolt. Uh, and let's kill one before we worry about the other. Yeah. Because we'd have we'd, we would have had to have rolled max damage to kill the other one on one shot. Let me see what my bonus actions are with the cleric. So I can do healing word, shield of faith, or a potion of healing. All right, we'll just end the turn. <laughs> you wish you had a brain like that? I don't know. It seems like that brain would up and run away from you. <laughs> I'm not sure if you want a brain with legs. That doesn't sound too good. It would just get out of your skull and run away. Or those little tentacles would be like poking out of your ears and stuff. That, that could be a little bit of a problem, right? Uh, I think we're going to firebolt this guy again. And we roll zero damage. Good take, good take. Oh man, the bonkers. That's actually a. Uh, you're not wrong. We are we are just a brain in a jar with legs and arms. So, yeah, maybe we're not maybe we're not so different after all. <laughs> oh my god, the, that that was a. That was an exercise in, uh, in in critical thinking right there. Shit, you're right. Oh, crit and miss. Oh, God. What is hurting me? Oh, I got on... I'm on fire because of the firebolt. That's uh, not great. How many more turns of that? Oh, it's because I'm standing in the fire, actually. Let me, uh, let me not do that anymore. Bonkers, shh, it's okay. Everything's fine. I'm, I'm standing in fire, you know, that's that's fine. Alright, well, I need a heal. Something the matter. Uh yes, I didn't mean to click on you directly, but you do need to heal me now. <laughs> well, Mrs. Cleric, thanks for uh thanks for stopping by, joining the party. Uh, we're back up to 10, which isn't a lot. 
How many spell slots do I have? I only have three. And I'm going to burn them all right now. Okay, okay. We got the max roll on that. That's pretty good. Well, I hope we don't need those in a minute. <laughs> because they've already dried up. We have one spell slot left. Still alive, so that's progress. Swift as my feet can carry me. I will say, so I was my uh, current Dungeons and Dragons player is or character because I'm actually I'm actually playing in a campaign for once instead of DMing. I've been the forever DM for years and years and years and years, and I'm finally I'm finally playing in a campaign actually. And let me tell you. Playing a wizard, having to actually worry about spell slots and, like, not blowing them all in a battle, like when you're running a monster or something. That's, uh, that's a lot of, uh, there may be even more that it's a lot of mental gymnastics. <laughs> having to worry about managing spell slots. Should I use this now? Should I save that? Somebody get Neil deGrasse Tyson on the phone. What the hell is this? It's a black hole? Ancient sigil circle. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. It looks slightly dangerous. You are slightly aroused by the danger. It's like the danger of a sharp blade. As a barbarian... I thirst for danger. <laughs> um, you approach the sigil and it glitters. Let's touch it. You gotta freaking touch it. Obviously. Come on. Is there another option? Okay, we like just shocked our... What? A hand? Anyone? Yeah, yeah, grab the hand. Grab the hand. <laughs> Holy crap. DC 7, okay, 19. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> the freaking hand. Is there a mana system in D&D? It's spell slots. So you don't have you don't track mana, you track a number of casts. So you only get like uh, you know, Let's just say three spell slots every rest. So you can only cast three spells regardless of what they are at that level per long rest. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. No, oh, man of Waterdeep. Very nice. You got a lot of money living out in Waterdeep? You a merchant? You know? Hey. I've heard Waterdeep has a lot of affluent people. And, uh... You know, although I am a barbarian and, and prefer to trade in blood, I, I do also accept gold as payment. Gale, just just uh, letting you know. All right, Gale. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. That's good Except enough. But I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Yes, I was, yes. I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome <laughs> insertion in the ocular region. Well, an insertion in the ocular region. Hey, that's better than most alien creatures, you know. Hey, I'll take I'll take the ocular insertion <laughs> rather than rather than most extraterrestrials. <laughs> Touched a sigil. They took four D eight frost damage. Holy crap! That is a lot. Damn. Oh, I hope they were okay. Sometimes curiosity does have its price. All right, I'm just going to say go on. Inserty we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? Oh, shit. A process known as ceramorphosis. And let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? No. Surgeon. No, we do have a cleric, Uncannily though. Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. <laughs> adroit with a knitting needle. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most? Oh. No doubt. 
but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I guess not. I'm going to answer with Barbarian. My hands are better suited to less delicate pursuits. I can offer a swift end, but I can't cure you. Few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer. And <laughs> soon, too. How about we let each other we've, help we've all had a rough day, Bonkers. We've <laughs> Actually, my guy is not covered with blood and guts, surprisingly. How about we lend each other a helping hand and look for a healer? Sounds like a plan. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It's an act of foresight you're and kindness, yeah. I assure That's you. That's the least I could do. I have the, the feeling least. ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Welcome to the party, Gil. Gail? Yes, not Gil. Gail. The Wizard of Waterdeep. Andy just leveled up from talking to us. <laughs> Bindo is such an effective speaker, he literally levels people up when they talk to him. He's sus, but he sounds like a jester. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's got the he's got the one ear dangly earring, so he's probably just you know like a TikTok influencer or something. If this is a tattoo, he's like he's definitely he's definitely big on the gram. You know, he's got the e boy. He's he's the e boy look going. Okay, let's subclass: uh, abjuration, evocation, necromancy, conjuration, transmutation, illusion, divination, or enchantment. All right, so abjuration is wards, banishing, nullifying. Evocation is elemental energy and powerful attacks. Necromancy is the shadow of death, and you make lots of friends there, so I assume that's like uh, summoning people and skeletons and whatnot. What is this Morrowind mod called? It's a really big one, okay? It's a massive mod. It's called Baldur's Gate 3. And I think it's the, the spiritual recreation of that Baldur's Gate 2 game, you know, from back in the day. Uh, but, man, they, they just top to bottomed it. It's crazy. It doesn't even feel like Morrowind. Such a good, such a good game. <laughs> it's taken a very long time. I think I'm going to go with Evocation. I saw powerful attacks. And that makes me excited. Yep, I'm going to go Evocation. Then I've gained two spells, so let's take a look. Uh, Burning Hands, classic. Charm Person, Chromatic Orb, classic. Color Spray, Disguise Self. False Life is good. Featherfall, Shield, Ray of Sickness, good. Uh, Magic Missile is a must-have if it's as good as it is in 5e. Long Strider's good. Enhanced Leap. That could be fun. Find Familiar. I do like that. So I, I had a... I, so my wizard that I was mentioning in 5e that I'm actually playing right now is a Necromancer, and I, I find Familiar. So he has a pet raven. Unreal 69 is your favorite. <laughs> the, mod, the mods, yeah, the mods are getting out of hand. Holy crap. Chromatic Orb was hilarious. Kelly shit with a level one. Yeah, dude, Chromatic Orb is insane. Although this one, it says it's only thunder damage. I thought in a... No, I'm thinking of, I may be thinking of a different Chromatic Sphere. One of them, you could choose what damage it does. Alternatively, choose a different type of damage. Actually, that's what I'm going to go with. I liked that because I remember in 5e, if something had resistances, you could you could pick the right damage type. All right. Onward and upward. Yeah, exactly. Good and flexible. And we like flexing. We like being flexible. Flexible is good. 
All right, let's uh, start heading through the beautiful woods here. I'm going to check above the cliff. I don't know why, but something up here is... Uh, Broken. Something up here is calling my name. I guess we'll find out what when we get there. Balancing, yes. They made less fun since 2E. I can't remember... Uh, I don't really remember. So when I played 2E, I didn't play a spellcaster. I didn't play 2E for very long. Oh shit, there's Lizelle. Was right. Yellow is a toad, twice as ugly. Ooh, the burn. Dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in hey response guys. to the prisoner's <laughs> white hot stare. Her lips don't move. Yet you hear her voice. Get rid of her. Get, okay, she's uh, she's telepathically communicating with us. All right, so demand rather demanding for your woman in, a, in your position. Why should I? Don't worry, I'll get them out of here. I'm gonna go with barbarian and persuasion. Shoot the trap down. I'll tear it apart before anyone else gets hurt. Persuasion check DC five. Okay, if we fail this, I'm gonna be exceedingly upset. DC 5. That's all it takes. Come on. F 5 meets beats. That works. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe it's the parasite. There you go. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Holy crap. 2d8 acid. An instant kill. Enough. Lower the trap. Damn. Ready your blade. All right. We've done it. In magic, are you? Pester me another time. I'm fighting, Gale. Okay, uh, you can knock out enemies instead of killing them. That may be good if we can, like, uh, persuade these people. Find out what the hell they're doing. Oh, wait. Uh, did not mean to uh, run forward with the wizard. I thought I was... thought I was the other guy. All right, Firebolt. Roll to one. Congratulations. I'm going to shove this guy. Hey, the wizard had a successful athletics check. When's the last time that happened? <laughs> Let's get another firebolt going. All right, Bindo. What are we at? We're at 20 health. I don't think we need a rage then. Let's just go and start slapping people. <laughs> yes, mid-battle. Best time to discuss magic. I agree. Oh, good opportunity attack, but we miss. Come on. So her thing is red. Is she considered an enemy right now? So I'm up in this guy's face. I may try and knock him prone. And then a bindo can have advantage. Yeah. Boom. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Working together, even a wizard can do some things right. All right, let's firebolt for the third time. See if we can pull something off here. We cannot. Damn. <laughs> okay, the wizard can do something right. The mage is struggling. Or the cleric is struggling. Going. Knocking people out. You're right, that isn't super barbarian of me to uh, knock somebody out. On my way. Blood only. Oh shit, she is. Hold on, she is hostile. What the hell? Oh god, okay. That's harder, because now he is... He's right up in the face of danger. I'm going to do mage armor. So he doesn't die. I'm going to try and push. Fail. Damn. Oh, man. I'm going to leave and get an opportunity attack. Well, Gale's dead. 
damn it. <laughs> okay. I, I, I didn't realize she was actually hostile. Okay, if a member of your adventuring party reaches zero, they are down. This is a state between life and death. When they roll each turn on survive, successful rolls, they become stable. Three failures, they die. Fantastic. I'm going to try and daze Lazel. She did save, though. I guess I can healing word the wizard. Get him back up. You know, actually knowing D&D &D does help a lot. Uh, Bendo using main attack on Lazelle. Bendo needs 16 to hit. They rolled an 11. Choose how to react. Oh, I guess I can buff my next attack. That's nice. I killed her. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> He needs a hundred fortify intelligence potions. Yes, uh, I didn't mean to kill her. <laughs> Another step forward. I guess I did not select the proper attack. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. You know, we'll 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 figure it out. <laughs> Good move. All right, keep running. Uh, I'm going to firebolt this one again. I was about to say, if I missed for a third time in the row, I'm just, I would just start rioting in the street. I would go outside my apartment and just start breaking windows on cars. Okay, what can I do here? So when it was saying swing for non-lethal, I don't see an option to do that. Actually... So, I'm just going to it's everything's fine. No time for mercy. We're just going to corner the remaining one. Okay, cleric's down, but we only have one enemy left, so that shouldn't be bad. Which bolt him? Done. All right, end of the day. Your replenishable resources are dwindling. Take a long rest to restore hit points. Sweet. Stabilize. The character has escaped death and is stable but unconscious. Okay, so just like 5e, you haven't unlocked an additional ability. Or remain at the side of your hot bar. Okay. I want to have a word. Let's go uh, get them back up. All right, we got to search these brigands. Get deaded, exactly. Deaded and deaded. Well, Lazel, I don't know if you were supposed to be friendly or not. Kind of feels like you were, and I have killed you. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Come on. What could possibly go wrong? A game. It's a. It's a this is a game about consequences and uh, choices that matter. So. You know, if she was supposed to be part of the quest, well, oh well. <laughs> we have we have made our choice on accident, but a choice was made. Are these enemies? They are enemies. She was part of the quest. Her part was to die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There you go. Okay, how do we long rest? I actually don't see that option. Uh, camping and resting menu. That's probably where we're at. Let's do a long rest. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party members. You can also manage party members, advance relationships, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit new followers. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, day one, complete. There's been much bloodshed. Um, can I wear her armor? Because her, her armor was pretty nice. It has... There it is. Uh, let me see. Can I wear this? Uh, 
Oh, I guess it doesn't change because I'm in camp, so I guess it doesn't change what it looks like. Gotcha. All right, Mr. Wizard. I want to see what the wizard has to say. Is he one of those, like, weird, squirrely wizards, or is he just going to be the smooth-talking e-boy that we think he is? Go to hell? What, what a nice greeting. Was there anything I did to deserve such a greeting? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm just poorly making a point. Go to hell. It, it was pretty poor. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen how it's real. It isn't trivial. Damn. He's uh he's taking this whole tadpole in the eye thing pretty pretty seriously, isn't he? <laughs> What's on your mind, Gail? Is it is it the possibly turning into a Cthulian monster that's just just grinding your gears? Or is it the uh you know, the first taste of blood on your hands that you saw earlier today. Let's find out. Devils, dragons, mind Hey, players, monster. Welcome in. Tracks. Based dwarf Pictures indeed. Of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that is pretty rough abstract. of a uh, fate. I'm not too worried. I, I, you know, I gotta be the strong pillar of the party, right? That's what being a stout, jacked, bulbously muscular, bulging dwarf is all about. We'll find someone who can help us, Gale. Don't worry your little head, pretty magic man, e-boy. Everything's gonna be fine. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. That's the spirit, Gale. Now we're talking. See, Gail gets it, right? You just gotta have a little bit of leadership. Get the wizard in line. Adios, detective. Thanks for stopping by. Let's see how Shadow... She still hasn't taken a bath. Come on. What were you two talking about? Uh, what do you mean? Actually, we were just discussing next steps. I see. I'd be careful with Gale. Oh, so hey, he he is he is one of those slimy merchants. It sounds like. Wait, you don't trust him? What's wrong with Gale? He's a wizard. All they care about is power. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I mean, I thought you were a healer. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on All right, thanks for stopping by, monster. Adios. Enjoy work. You know, that's always just a pleasure of life, going to work. <laughs> thanks for having in. We'll catch you on the next one. You seem reliable. I think you know how as important it is. I am reliable. I'm a stout, muscular dwarf. And I'm going to say, agreed. You're right. Let's, let's, uh. Let's find we someone to help us. Find one right away. Gale approved, Shadowheart approved. Good Rest well. Thank you, madam. Thank you. So you just gotta be calm, cool, confident, collected. You know, people don't expect that from the dwarf barbarian, but... When it works, it works. That's all I can say. How to win friends and influence people in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Let me see what else is around. Is there anything cool? Leave it to the religious fanatic to blame the wizard. That's right. You know, haven't, haven't heard that one before. Your quest for knowledge is unholy. You must, you must return to the tombs. Um, I should probably go back to the campsite. I feel like I'm just going to wander off into the night and then get attacked by something. So, uh, yeah, let's go to bed. 
Use the required amount of camping supplies to fully rest, recovering all your hit points, spell slots, and short rests. Not using enough camp supplies to rest will only partially recover your resources. Okay. Well, we'll just use one of these supply packs. Grab the full rest. Now we're talking. Look at that. Bindo the Strong with the freaking beautiful armor. <laughs> we, we may have stretched it a little bit. <laughs> we may have stretched it a tiny bit. Everything's fine, though. I can put on those boots for a plus one to athletics. So I am going to do that. What's our damage here? The Great Axe. 4 to 15. We have 4 to 13. Uh, nothing that is edging it out just yet. So we're going to put that away. Gale, you dapper Dan. I think we got to head back out into adventure. See what this does. Leave camp when you're ready to go back to adventuring. Okay. Let me leave camp. Okay, that's kind of interesting. The camp is like in a pocket dimension or something because we actually spawn right back where we should be. Okay, well, let's keep moving. The camp, funny enough, the camp's actually just in a bag of holding. Little did you know. All right, those enemies that we saw were over here. So, uh, are you an enemy? Warren. Let me talk. Maybe he's not an enemy. You! Not another step, hear me? Okay. Hey, boss! Got company up here! Uh, specific to the game. They gotta be specific What's to the game. Thing? That seems Trying way high. Around us and loot the crypt. Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. A greedy gnome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that fine dwarven specimen with the with the lady's armor on. Oh, my God. <laughs> that isn't what I expected. That is hysterical. Okay. All right, we're going to intimidate. Intimidation proficiency. We're, we're rolling with advantage. I mean, if this guy showed up looking like that, I'd be pretty scared too. Like that man, you know, he may be a little unhinged. There we go. 20. Thank you very much. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese. No? <laughs> Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. Yeah, get out of here. Who do you think you are? You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Oh, you're right. I mean, look at look at this stud. I am I am the face of danger and cunning. Three second animation. Yeah, you know. It's like it's like rolling an actual dice. You gotta you gotta sit there and shake it for a minute. Okay, we got some bed rolls. Uh, I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems interesting. Oh, why do why does she not like Gale? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? Okay, fair enough. All right. You know what? I'm I'm just I'm gonna hold that for now. I didn't mean to click on her. More for me. Uh, just grab a shovel. I mean, that could be good, I guess. Shovel picked up. Let's check the door. Everything all right out there? Uh, do we perform or deceive? I'm going to try and deceive. All right, DC 10. We get no bonus. 
Come on. 15. Nice. There we go. Success. There's your there's your animation again. <laughs> the shovel the shovel only playthrough. <laughs> if I can, hold on, can I use it to attack? That's the real question. I don't think you can. It doesn't have an attack damage. That would not be a, a very hard tempt. Oh, here we are. Let's topple him. We missed. Damn it. <laughs> that that didn't go well. All right. Swarm. Swarm. So much for peace. Swarm him. Boom. <laughs> I like how there were no questions asked. I was like, yeah, we're just going to kill him. Clearly a role-playing fail. You could 100% beat someone to the death with a shovel. I agree with that, actually. You know? You should be able to do that, uh, in my opinion. I'm, I'm not... I'm not... I'm with you. I'm not against you. Yeah, you should be able to have a shovel as a weapon. All right. Uh, we got a torch. I don't see it in our inventory to, like, use immediately. Let me try torch. Is it like an action? Yeah, I'll just equip it. Pull it into my pull it into my bar. No Alright, we got some gold, some random loot. That'll be good. To be a forgotten god. Oh yeah, we gotta I've, now that we're using camping supplies, we gotta remember to load up. Tin cups, candles, uh, just a bunch of random stuff. Steal all the food. Candles. Seems like there's a ton of clutter in the game, which kind of reminds me of The Witcher, where there's just tons of random stuff, but probably doesn't do a lot. The wizard is using a stick to kill someone. Surely a shovel is a better weapon. I agree. Ola, Ola, welcome. We are exploring some ruins. Death and Divinity, a godly guide. That sounds like uh, something the cleric would be into. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. Dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Hmm, okay. So we're in a, we're in the ruins of a temple. Oh, you love the YouTube channel. That's awesome. Well, I'm so glad. Yeah, yeah. I've played I've played Morrowind once or twice. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we're being a little different today. I've been wanting to play this game. So uh switching up the regularly scheduled programming a little bit. Alright, let's get the wizard in there. Start slinging some fire bolts. Oh, this person's already hurt. Sounds like somebody somebody got there before us. Either that or maybe there's another enemy in there. I think we have line of sight. Boom. Look at that. Could be a necromancer guild. Oh, that'd be really awesome. My videos got you to play Morrowind. That's fantastic. Well, I'm glad I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they helped you not only get started, but find your way. I, lo I love hearing that I got people in tomorrow, and, you know, that, that's always awesome. Like, got, got someone to have some more freaking enjoyment in their life. Like, what more, what more can you ask for as a freaking content creator? Um, we have plates and bowls. Not very exciting. This is, uh, I feel like we're in Care Morin right now with all the crumbling, crumbling stonework. Rags, rags, vagabond clothes, destitute clothes. Our inventory is starting to get a little full, so I'm wondering when we'll get to our first, like, settlement, I guess, to actually, actually do some bartering. That one's locked. 
that was a freaking cool that was a really cool detail i don't know if the volume was high enough to hear it but i could hear someone talking behind the wall so i'm wondering if there's yeah there's enemies in the other room that is such a cool detail wow i could hear them talking through the wall Imagine if they went, if Bethesda went backwards and gave us back freedom. That would be something. Oh god, we are on fire. Uh, this is not gonna go well. Um, okay, can I see anyone to attack? That is the question here. Immobile. Yeah, I can't, oh, I can't freaking see them. I have a disadvantage on that that attack. I guess I just got to... When I'm immobile, I guess I just got to hold. Um, I do have to move, as we learned earlier in the game. The burning will just sit and tick away at our health. Got to be somewhat tactical. Oh, that guy just made a fire stick. Okay, that's bad. Uh, get out of the fire. Get out of the fire. Let me see if I can firebolt that guy. I would love Bethesda to do... Like, just bring back levitation to me. Don't stand in the fire. Noted. Exactly. I got burned on that uh, at, at, like, maybe our second or third combat. I just stood in the fire and just took, you know, 10 health damage for no reason. And then I and I was like, "Am I on fire?" Because like uh, somebody cast a firebolt next to me. No, nope, I was literally just standing in the fire. Oh my God, Gale is down. This is bad. This is uh, this is not good. Am I silenced? What is going on? Oh, it's not my turn. It's not her turn yet. Let's go. If I just run into that crowd, I'm just gonna get creamed. I'm going to rage. Res Gale. Oh, wait. To keep raging, you have to attack an enemy or take damage every turn. So <laughs> did I rage and then I'm literally about to lose the rage? That may have just happened. Something tells me I'm going to die. Uh, could be a very, very possible thing. That is, that is for sure. I do have some healing pots. I'm going to pop that as a bonus action. And then I got to run away. Because I have no normal action. Because I guess I was getting unsnared. She's ticking down. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is getting a uh, getting interesting. Guiding bolt, your next attack against this target has advantage. Um, but it also deals damage. Do I heal Bindo or does he heal as his action? I'm trying to think what is the best way to do this. I may go with the bolt. Okay, he's dead. Okay, okay. We're looking good. A mild-mannered rage. <laughs> yeah, mild-mannered. You know, he's, he's still trying to come to terms with it. And then I could healing word as a bonus. And I will healing word... Bindo? And run away so that the cleric doesn't die. So we just need Bindo to frickin' uh, stay stay on top of it. She can res him. That's fine. Holy shit! What? <laughs> why were th why were there what? There was there were just barrels of gunpowder. Oh god. Okay. Well, healing word Bindo again, and I guess we can stand him up. Okay, now now this is a uh, this is a learning experience. All right, we learned the the barrels are gunpowder. 
You noted that earlier. I didn't I didn't see that. Alright, cleric still stepping away. We have another healing word that we can do. Let me think here. So I used my action by getting up. All right, yeah, I, I, we, we just got to stay alive right now. Got to level out. Okay, Bindo. Bindo, Bindo. How much? This person has eight health. I could. Well, I can't kill them because I just stood up. I can try and run, but I can't get through the fire. Actually, I can. Nice. One of them had a big red mark. I saw that after the fact. <laughs> yeah, I think I think this may uh, this may be over. But you never know. How many spell slots? We have no more spell slots. I guess Sacred Flame? Yeah, I guess we just got a... S sacred Flame as an action? Heal as a bonus action? In turn, hope for the best? Thunder Wave is five meters in front of us. We can Witch Bolt this guy. And it missed! Oh, God! He did he shove yeah, he did shove us despite being at literal literal nothing. He's kind of brutal, man. The only way we get through this is if we get like just max damage on all of our wizard attacks. Because the wizard's the only one who's gonna be able to pump out enough to keep us in this. We're going trying to do a witch bolt again so there is grease cover the ground in grease that is something we need to keep in mind okay two down <laughs> there's a chance all I'm saying is there's a chance can't arcane recovery because I've already done it. We're almost out of spell slots on everyone. Gosh, what do we do here? Uh, scroll of detect thoughts. Scroll of revivify. Can I lay on hands? Or no, that's a, that's a paladin. Alright, we're just going to firebolt Try and try and uh, keep whittling them away, but missing is not a good thing in our position. Gale's down again. Bindo is dead, dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, revive him. There goes the scroll. We're going to need to remember to buy more of those. I love that we failed three death saves in a row on our first first time death saving anything. And back down. Who needs your main character exactly? God, this is a uh, It's not good. And this all happened this all happened because we did not see the freaking barrels at the beginning. Yeah, game over. Okay, well, reload. Take two. I feel like we should have done that earlier, too, because we, we just burned too many resources on that fight. But now we know. Okay, now we know. Don't stand next to the red barrels. They're explosive, especially when the enemy has firebolt. I feel like if we didn't start there, we would have done fine. 
All right, I'm going to try and topple this guy again at the start. Missed. Let's... Concussive blow. He's dazed, so hopefully uh, some disadvantage there. Yeah, reposition yourself to lure them. That would have been a good idea. I'm probably going to do that now, especially... And then we have a, we have that grease spell with the wizard, so we could... um We could grease the ground and then fire it up anyway. Because I believe we can light the grease on fire. That sounds like a... You know, that sounds d and D. I I think the only thing that was really worth searching was that. If I remember correctly. I think everything else was just kind of junk. I'm going to check this one trunk. Yeah, that was just some random candles. Random candles. Yeah, let's keep going. Ah, the food. You're right. Good reminder. Yes, can't forget the food. we got to stay up on our camping supplies. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, the cheese. A good dwarf can't leave a hunk of cheese behind? Are you kidding me? Alright, there it is. That red stripe freaking barrel over there. <laughs> Alright, let's start moving in. Well, I killed him. Ooh, she ran into our opportunity attack. Bold woman. Bold woman. Firebolt from downtown, miss. Okay, fair enough. Of course. Why would it why would it ever be easy? Why would it ever be easy, folks? Come on. Uh, let's... What do we want to do here? I guess just Firebolt again. I, I would say Sacred Flame, but I feel like that's only really worth it on the undead. Because the Firebolt just has a chance to roll higher if they don't have resistance to... I guess Radiant Damage. I'm going to get the torch back on. I like the look of the map better with it on. Let me throw that here. Torch on. Okay, let's keep exploring again. Uh, was there anything good in this room? I don't believe so. There's a chest over here. Yeah, plates and bowls. Nothing very exciting. Torch next to the explosive barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Five head. Dash, disengage. Is there a way to, like, pick it up? Like, can I grab that? That's me hitting it. I don't want to attack it. I don't know. Shove? Because I liked that idea. Like, I, I would, I feel like it would be good. To push it towards the door. It, it literally is oil barrel. No lock, no handle. How does it open? Still breathing, despite everything. At the ready. Yeah, position in the bend. I think that's the way. I may send uh Hmm. A long way to go still. Can I get people to wait? We're still we're still figuring it out here. Cause if I could get if I could get them to like wait, get my ranged characters to wait back here, but then Bindo gets the door. Would probably be the easiest way. Or, or everybody just dashes. Like we op I think we open the door and then just get the whole party to dash away. We can try that. I think that may be the move. Yeah, open the door and run. That's what I was that's that's where I think we're I think that's where we've ended up. Alright, I'm gonna dash. 
And we are going to relocate. Back here. And then we get Gale. Um, also Dash. We're going to try this approach. Use the oil barrel to our advantage. So I think we should maybe get a turn with uh, with no attacks. They mage armor up. Clear off. We got here first. He yells. We take one. Jeez, they're rolling damage. Eight damage, man. Woo. Oh, and she uh, he hit us with the hamstring shot. So we have reduced movement. <laughs> oh no, God. Is this going poorly? I think we can make it to the next round though. I believe. Miss, there we go, now we're talking, okay. Okay, if this was like real d and I would be able to hold my initiative. But I'm guessing I can't in Baldur's Gate. Because otherwise I would hold my initiative until after Gale and let Gale grease up the room. And then firebolt the grease when they come in. Instead, I think we are just continuing to wait. Yeah, so let's just hold. I'm going to grease up the pit over here. So we've greased it. So that should be hard, hard terrain for them, I believe. Now, does the cleric survive long enough to have her turn? That is the question. Barely. Barely. Well, we're definitely moving. And I think we drink a health potion just to stay alive. And that cleared our reduced move speed. So we can also dash and get back here. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So we've uh, we've greased up the room. Oh, we gotta hit that barrel. Come on. Yes, everybody, get in the grease. Get in the grease. Oh. There's two. There's two in there. Bindo, I think, still holds. Firebolt. Oil barrel. Boom! Insta kill. There, there we go. Okay, now, now we're talking. Yeah, they'll still have to run into the fire. That whole room is just toasted. Now we're freaking talking. Okay. Yeah, we'll just we'll just let this happen. We'll just let them burn down in the freaking fire. I'm not fight. I'm not going in the fire. Screw you. Um, I can actually. I think I can hit them and then move. Boom. There we go. I can hit them. Stay there. Although, do they have line of sight? Okay. Dang it. They had line of sight. Okay. Now, so now we just have a, a two on one. Miss. Not great. So I can't heal them. All right, Bindo, now it's your time to shine. It's rage. Do I really not have enough movement to get to him? Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't rage yet because I can't actually attack him. Nice. Miss. We like that. We like that. Gale had a death save. 
He only did two damage there. God, we gotta drink another freaking health potion. All right, let's get rid of this one. She has seven health left. All right, now I think we rage. An attack. Boom, dead. Okay. We're doing all right. Although the explosion counted as a failed save for Gale, so we have to revive him. We don't want Gale to die. Who doesn't like a roast? That's what I'm saying. Okay, Gale's back. Bindo. Kill. Kill Bindo, kill! We crit him down to four. We have to move because the fire will immediately down him, but he's going to get downed again. So I think we're just hoping that Gale can kill him right here. Or that he doesn't just down him again. He does. Not a big deal. All right. Sacred Flame. Saved. Oh, my gosh. All right, Bindo. Put it to death. Thank you very much. Barton. Dude, Barton, he outlasted, man. He's, he freaking put the work in. Okay, let's revive. Gail, if you could, uh, you know, quit sucking for like five seconds, that'd be cool. <laughs> Going down more than the lusty Argonian maid. Yeah, at this point. Something the matter. He'll, uh, he'll, he'll get better with age. You know, he'll just he'll he'll ripen up like a fine wine. We just we just got to get there. Okay, that's all. All right, let's go search the uh, completely charred, destroyed, mangled bodies that we left over here. Looks like just kind of random stuff. Nothing too impressive. In typical, so I think I definitely need a short rest here. Get some health points back. Uh, so we just got tons of books. So I'm assuming like in mini RPGs, books probably just sell pretty well. An empty chest, how dare you? Do not recognize the language on the plaque. Oh, that's annoying. I guess it's like in D&D &D 2 where you have to learn all the languages to actually do anything. Two gold, very nice. It was all worth it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just going to be freaking weighed down with literature at this point. So I think when I equipped the torch, I actually equipped it. So I need to put my great axe back on. I thought we were just using it as a light source. But no, we actually like equipped it, equipped it. It's not like in the Elder Scrolls, apparently, where you can just like hold the torch. So I can do this toggle light source. That's what I should have done. Pure gold economy. I believe so. I don't think there is uh, copper or silver or platinum. Yeah, gold represents total wealth. I mean, I feel like most people kind of get it. I somehow unlocked my camera. How did that happen? Oh, toggle group mode. So I bet that's how I would have uh, done the positioning. You have to toggle the group. So that's good to know. See, we're learning all kinds of freaking stuff. This is great. How do I relock my camera, though?
I mean, yeah, I guess it's needlessly complicated. I guess it depends on how you look at it. If people can handle it for uh, World of Warcraft, you know, you'd think they could handle it for uh, for anything. Hold on, let me check my key bindings. Camera right, forward, back, zoom in. Center on character is home. Let's try that. Okay, so I think we looted the bottom of the chapel here. I think we need to go back to the surface. And then from the surface, I remember there was a hole in the ground somewhere. And I think we can probably jump down that hole, and then that's where, like, the crypt or whatever they were talking about was. So I'm trying to think, what did we burn in that fight? I think we only really burned, um... I think we only burned a health potion? <laughs> the sun, there's sun, yeah. Don't expose yourself to that that driveling ball of radiation. Oh, oh wow. I okay, having the torch out, I literally just lit the uh I lit the ground on fire. That's immersive, for sure. There's something underneath here. Okay. There's something underneath here. Okay, so uh, there's something underneath here, but cracking it didn't do anything. Oh, oh, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. I think I can attack. Bear with me now. I think I can attack. My faith will guide the, see this hanging thing over here? I bet I can attack that and send it through the bottom. Boom. <laughs> yes, I should count myself lucky. You're right. Hey, the barrel, you know, it's got to be able to hold it. Hold it all in like the uh, the bottom of a ship or something, right? You're going to have torches down there. Got to be able to transport it. Text is too faded. Doesn't tell me who was worshipped here. Hmm, okay. Uh, so I guess that... Do we, do we just jump for it? Do we go for it? I guess we gotta go for it. I mean, what else... Why else did we come if not to do that? So, yeah, let's try. Let's see what happened. Okay, and we do have manual saves here. So, I need to remember to do that. Save successful. Okay. See what we got going on. Broken cupboards, wooden crates. Got a chest over here. <laughs> do it. I say do it. There is a ba hey, there's a um there's a background called Outlander. So you I mean you'd have the perfect character name and the perfect background. Have the Outlander Inwa. Alright, we need to put Bindo back in front. Ooh. Light on my feet. Oh, this just puts us in. Okay, this just put us back here. No handle. How does it open? No handle. How does it open? Oh, the candle. Hold on. Can I? Is there a hidden trick? Thieves' tools. Picked up thieves' tools. No handle. How does it open? I was f I was wondering if there was like a hidden key, or not a hidden key, but like a. toggle the light source. I don't see anything. I'll give it a shot. I don't see anything that like makes me think of a lever. So the thieves' tools were next to it. I'm wondering if we have to equip them. 
and then try. How does that work? Let's 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 do a little let's do a little learning here. Thieves tools. Enable you open locks based on a sleight of hand check. Let's uh Target is invalid. Yeah, I guess I'm not. I guess I guess we're just out of luck. We can't get through that door, so let's keep moving. I am a little disappointed that dropping the thing just put us back, you know, put us back on in in the under crypt. I guess whatever we want to call this area, the place of death, the place of initial death. Oh, I couldn't see the door. I was uh, clicking through the invisible door. All right, let's keep going. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, do we have a particular quest going? Find a cure. So this is explore the ruins right now. I guess that's our quest at the moment. But it says we found the locked door. So there is a way to get through the door. That might be worth a look. Oh, hello, Dirt Mound. Hey, the shovel came in handy. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Scroll of Featherfall, Scroll of Witch Bolt, Scroll of Magic Weapon. Nice. So the shovel, although we cannot decapitate our enemies with it, it appears we can we can use it for uh, digging up items, which is good. So it is not just clutter, it does have a use. Not seeing anything that's like hinting me towards that door. Just gonna make sure up here one more time. They didn't have anything. So the the key has got to be underground I'm gonna try again I don't like leaving it unfinished I feel like the thieves tools being next to it was like a clear sign no handle how does it open we just need to make sure that we're using it correctly. Like, if I click the shovel, it gives me Nothing interesting that here. option. Should I put it over? Hold on. Hmm. Those candles were already lit. There must be some kind of hidden knowledge here. No handle. How does it open? Can we attack it? Try that. The unclaimed. I'm sure, just like random books. No lock, no handle. How does it open? There we go. Okay, yes, we can attack items. Nice. Okay. The more again, learning. Now we're talking. Note to self, attack the door. All right, let's find out what's behind it. Ooh, the crypt. You have entered the dank crypt. It's the coolest crypt. I like how the opulent chest only has 11 gold in it. <laughs> Maybe it is like D&D, &D, where like real gold is supposed to be... Uh, 
I don't want to say rare, but actually worth a lot of money, whereas in most RPGs it just gets thrown around like nothing. Okay, I don't see any other items over here in particular. Let's go search that other vase. Again, there could be could be gold to be had. Those are heavy oak doors. I don't know if we're breaking through that. Let's try the other side. The dank crypt. Okay, see there there we go. Oh, failed perception checks. What is in here? Something's going to surprise us. Where are it? Where is it? The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Disarming traps. You need a disarm trap to neutralize the dangerous traps. Where, though? Where is the trap? Watch how you go. Oh, my God. Okay, there's traps right here. Man, I feel like we're going to get just... We're going to get obliterated. Let me save first. Hold on. Now that we know there's traps, let me save. I'm going to try the one in the main. You've entered turn-based mode. The game is paused. Turn-based mode to avoid traps. Okay. So I think everything in here has a trap on it. So can we just move away from the trap? Because I guess we knew it was there. Is that how this works? Now the environment. Okay, we took one damage. That's fine. That's fine. Not a big deal. Yeah, I think we're I think we're in the clear. Oh, does it keep going? Yeah, I'm just gonna exit. What? What? <laughs> what? We weren't. What? Okay, the more you know, the more you know. I could have. I could have sworn we weren't next to anything that blew up, but... Well, I guess we're short resting again. And and now we can't get in the room. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, I'm going to reload. Again, still learning? Still learning? What to expect here? Okay, so note to self. You activate a trap, then you enter into turn-based mode. And then it's like you have a reaction step, and then you get to move. Okay, so if the whole thing is trapped, I don't have any disarms, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep rolling. Okay, that one's locked. I think this is where we try the thieves' kit. Um, who? So what's our dex? Our dex is 13, 13, 13. Okay, no particular. No one's particularly dexterous. Not as bad as it could have. Plus one to dexterity. Uh, can we add a bonus? We will add our guidance bonus. Meets beats, DC 15. Thank you very much. Okay. It is not all bad. And we've come to the... Oh, this is the original spot. Oh, okay, okay. Let me check with the journal. Did that... Find a way to the abandoned ruins. Strange story led deeper. There are bound to be some interesting artifacts. Okay, so we didn't clear the ruin, but we have made it out to the other side. Since sigil. That looks like the same kind of sigil that Gale came out of. Ah, oh, so that's the fast travel system. Okay, good to know. I want to go back in. Let me see. So this was a trap. No disarm trap available. 
Uh, let's at least check the opposite end. Uh, we'll check the skeleton. There's nothing there. I'm going to check the opposite end over here. See if there's anything worth worthwhile. It's a locked medium toughness. Some objects are unusually strong. You need to deal enough damage at once to actually damage them. Okay. I'm guessing because it has 36, that's the... Uh, that's the save. We're going to do our guidance again and actually just try and pick the lock. It's only a DC 10, so hopefully we can get there. Man, we're, we're like right on the money again. Meets beats again. Look at that. Success. Okay, walking through. We're barely skirting by. Hold on, let's zoom out. Let's take a quick look. Entombed scribe. There is definitely evil afoot. It says they're dead, but they have the image of an enemy. All right, let's uh, let's loot at least. Probably at the point now where we're gonna have to start managing our inventory. Come on, Bindo. We can try and break down that door. What's hiding here? I am going to walk down. Man, we are getting a lot of scrolls. They're dishing out scrolls. Yurgle. I didn't think anyone worshipped the scribe of the dead. Yurgle. Ooh. Let's read the plaque. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Ooh, Yurgle. That is a really cool looking statue, I must say that. Alright, come on, Bindo. Oop, another warrior. Or another scribe. How much weight can we carry? Is this the bottom down here? Oh, weight you can carry. Well, literally, it says weight you can carry right here. So we are we are still good. Thankfully, we are an incredibly stout dwarf. <laughs> so I guess the inventory just keeps going until you hit your weight capacity. Man, that delete save is in a really precarious spot. It's like right where I would expect a normal save to be. How can I help? Oh, let's check the chest. Onyx ring. Chained up book. Where's that? Oh, the book of dead gods. Book is far lighter Ooh. than it should be with such a massive lock. Okay, barbarian strength. The lock is begging to be smashed. Oblige it or search for an arcane rune to sabotage. Well, you know. We've got to go barbarian. Come on. The big, big striated muscles. We'll keep adding in our guidance because that's a cantrip, so you can just keep doing it. So, uh, come on. Oh, damn it. We're not, we're not there even with the guidance. One short. Oh, brutal. Okay. Do I roll again? I have one inspiration. Do I want to burn it now? Probably not. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. We're going to hold that until until something that seems game-breaking. The impact reverberates through your body as if you just slammed a hammer into solid adamantine. Ooh. The lock doesn't budge. All right. Well, we'll search for... Uh, We'll do an Arcana check. This is not going to be good. 
But we'll try. <laughs> and then at 19, we, we fail on the smash as a barbarian. And then win with a minus one. That's pretty funny. Oh, yes. Bindo the intelligent... <laughs> the intelligent barbarian. Break, breaking open magical seals. Pulses from the parchment. That's pretty funny. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Okay. Let's, I guess we're, we're religion checking now. Three. <laughs> well, we opened the book and then uh, got nothing from it, so that's good. The longer you stare at the dark and decimated words, the more you Oh, we're going to take we're going to take some damage, there I bet. There's no meaning to be found here. The scroll of a ray of enfeeblement. Hold on, let me uh let me go to Gale. Yes. Let me try Gale on it. The name of dead gods, most of them unfamiliar and unpronounceable, fill the pages of this ancient tome. Several entries on the last page have been stricken through, the final three thoroughly enough to be completely illegible. Okay. Well, there's that, I guess. Not much to learn, but we did get a Ray of Enfeeblement scroll, so it's not a complete loss. And that is a chasm, so that looks like the end on this side. Yeah, I don't think we can jump or do anything there. So I guess it just comes down to that freaking... Uh, comes down to how do we get these artifacts with no way to disarm traps. Or I guess we can uh, search behind the altar. Did we do that already? Oh, here's a button. That's curious. Yeah, hold on. Here's a button. Ooh. Hidden door. That raises the dead. Shit. <laughs> That's not ideal. Um, is there anything in here? Okay, there's nothing to, like... Go after. Uh, we're gonna end. I guess we just need a... How do we position? There's one, two, three, four, five of... There's five of them. Good God. Okay. Let's try and get the ranged characters out into position to maybe do a ranged attack before this goes really haywire. Well, that didn't do a lot. Come on, Gale, get into position. Witch Bolt. Uh, are you resistant to things? We're going to examine. Resistant to poison, and then resistance to... Oh, it's weakness to bludgeoning. Okay, so we may need to switch weapons. That actually could be worth a shot. We have two spell slots. I'm going to lightning. I'm going to try and witch bolt because that will apply damage over time. Okay, at least, so they're silenced. At least we got our spells off to begin with. Concentration broken. Are they all coming for Bindo because he opened the thing? Hold on. Do we have... Can we switch? So we need bludgeoning damage against these guys. Uh, can I just type in bludgeon? Bludgeon? No bludgeon. <laughs> I know I got a great club. Let's see a club. So a torch is technically a club. That's 1d4 plus 3 doubled. But this is 1d12 plus 3 slashing. So that's probably not better. 
I'm just going to do a quick look here. That's bludgeoning. 1d8 plus 3. Great club. Okay, we'll put that on. Oh, I burned my action by equipping it. So I guess let's just get ready for the fight. They're in a bad spot. Let's get the concussive attack for the bludgeoning. Missed. Run by. I'm going to do the same thing here. Oh, I clicked wrong. I uh, didn't mean to come up, but that's fine. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll work our way through it. We'll work our way through it. It's fine. Everything's fine. There you go. Killed with the opportunity attack. Or toppled, I guess. Yeah, some of these guys are really weak. So if we can, if we can get solid footing, I think we'll be okay. Miss on Bindo. Silencing. Ah, get out of here. We're not going to cast any spells. Who do you think we are? Oh, my God. Gale's down again. Classic wizard. Uh, I guess... I guess we just start attacking the warrior. Miss. And then uh, we need to make a run for Gale. I can healing word, but we'll give him one more turn. Concussive Smash. Dealt 8 damage. I thought we should have had a higher double double damage because they should have weakness. Bindo's at 11. We're getting low again. Oh, now she's at 11. Come on, Bindo. Finish him off. Okay, there we go. Uh, do we have health potions? We do. Heal is a bonus, and then move up to start continuing the fight. We need... We need... Oh, we should be using a Sacred Flame here, but we need the freaking wizard to stop dying. <laughs> that is really, really making this harder. All right, Gale's up. We'll wait here... Gale, I guess, is uh, drinking a potion as a bonus to hopefully not die. Please, Mistra. I'm gonna move him out of the way. If they just keep silencing, that would actually be preferred. Because silencing doesn't do a whole lot. God, we got another Ray of Frost. Bindo's at six. They crit over there. Let's use our let's use our brain again. I don't have enough movement to get there. I guess why is my movement being lowered? Is it because of silence? Ah, ray of frost. Movement cut by three. Hmm. There's not a great option on this turn. Potion of healing. And uh, try to move in. And then I think we just pass. Uh, get another turn with our friend heal. He here, here, healing herself. Oh, she's silenced. We got to get out of the silence. So we can cure wounds on ourself. And I think that's the move. Because we can't be down the cleric. Alright, Gale got the res. We wouldn't be close enough to Thunder Wave there. We could grease and then hit that. That would hurt Bindo, though. So I think we're just going to Firebolt. Firebolt the one below. Yeah. Oh, but then we move. Okay, that's that's kind of eh. So the game, even though we were trying to cast, this is another good thing to know. So the game, even though we were trying to cast Firebolt, moved us into the area of silence to cast it. 
which is uh, not ideal because it auto moved us when I clicked on the enemy. So that's good to know that it will, it will do that. So keep an eye on where the game is going to auto move you, because it will auto move you back into an area where you can't do what you're trying to do, uh, which is kind of annoying, to be completely honest. Let's get this All right, let's get up here. Come on, Bindo. There you go. One shot, double damage. Let's hop back down. In that turn. And then I feel I'm I'm feeling pretty confident now. Now we're in a good spot. Uh, we don't have enough movement to attack, but we can get we can get up here. I'm actually gonna not attack. I'm gonna s I want to move and then sacred flame. Down with you. Move, unsilenced. Oh, I had already selected the attack. Okay, so it buffers it. Move right here. See, can I firebolt anyone? I think everybody's out of. That was nope, not out of range. Okay, I. <laughs> this is a very, very, very tight line of sight. But I guess a line of sight is still a line of sight, whether it's a good line or not. Uh, Gale's about to go down again. Freaking Gale. We have reduced movement speed again. I guess we just got a dash. Yeah, we got a dash. Get over to this guy. Don't waste a step. Stay focused. Ray of Frost, very inhibiting on our barbarian. Let's hit this guy with some radiant damage. Have to keep going. And then get up in their face to bludgeon, hopefully. In my favor. Gale. Hit me with some freaking ray of or fire bolt. Guy's trying to run away. Opportunity attack kills him. We're down to the wire. Come on. Well, Bindo's not getting there, but maybe uh maybe someone else can finish it off. Big fire bolt. Oh, one more. Gale buddy, it's down to you. Interrupted path. Gale, buddy, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Threw away a turn there. It's fine. I need to remember to move and then do my action. All right. She's down, but that's okay. Breathe deep and move. Uh, I guess we're dashing again. Get close to this guy. So if he moves, we get the opportunity attack, and that's probably the kill right there. Can I get into a position where I can firebolt him? Does not appear so. So instead, dash, double dash. We got him this turn, whether he likes it or not. Boom. Thank you very much. All right, let's let's uh, let's go stabilize Shadowheart. Two gold. Let's see. What do we get for all of our troubles? That was actually a pretty long combat because of the Ray of Frost. Losing movement speed when you're trying to play a barb is not the best because you need to stay up in their face. A heavy key. Okay, that's a good look. I like that. Okay, we got gold. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. I believe there were five. Yeah. Okay. So as long as we, as long as we have no more warrior friends waiting for us. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Oh. What's on your mind? So there's the quest update. Let's check the plaque. Lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna burn a short rest here just in case there's any friggin' tomfoolery around here. Face, face, face. Uh, I guess I'll just grab this jug. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. Yeah. All right. Check the sarcophagus. Let's hope it goes well. Journal updated.
Oh, God. Is it a boss? What are you? What are you? Huh? Is it a companion? So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. <laughs> now, you mean you haven't seen a dwarf a before? A nice stoutly bricked with legs? Worth of a single mortal's life. Oh, it's a riddle? What is the worth of a single mortar's wife? Mortal's life. Quite the question, what's the reason for it? So he has spoken. What he are you talking about? A peaceful undead. Interesting. Little spooked by the crawling out of the tomb bit. What are you? Uh, what's the reason for it? Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Uh, yes, ask so away. I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? No one life is worth more than any other. We are all equal. That depends on a person's deeds. Life's only value is his currency. Doesn't matter to me not. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. And the only life that matters is mine. Or depends on the mortal. What is the worth of a single mortal life? No one life is... That's not a worth. That, I feel like this is a riddle. Depends on the deeds. Currency. No, each life is of infinite value. That is an answer to the question. The only life that matters is mine. Nope, depends on the mortal. I feel like it depends on the person's deeds. Or each life is of infinite value. Let's try that. And thus, balance is achieved. If all are at war, none can win. Nice. Did I did I get it right? Very well. I am satisfied. Yes. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Okay. Farewell. Interesting. Withers. I, w I want him in the party. Don't leave. Hold on. We have a soul coin. Strange, incomprehensible whispers emanate from this coin, pervading your mind with rage and despair. 100 ain't gold, and then a scroll of misty step. I want, dude, I want Withers to join the party. The Amulet of Lost Voices. Speak with dead. Level 3 Necromancy. Gold, silver ingot. Does that mean we learn the spell if we wear the amulet? Let me see how that works. Hold on. Speak with undead. Yeah, now I know it. Grant a semblance of life to a humanoid corpse, allowing it to answer up to five questions. A rare amulet. Nice. Good good find. Scroll of Misty Step. Okay, so far. So far. Very impressed. That was such a cool movement. Getting frickin' withers over here. Dude, tell me more, Withers. I want to convince him to join the party. To discuss. Ah. Continue on thy way. As if I were not here. I must attend this place. <laughs> Love our cowboy hat. So many years away. <laughs> we will see each other again. Soon. Okay. Soon is rather vague. When exactly? When the time is proper. I do not know that hour any more than dost thou. But I do know that the longer thou standest here, 
the farther away our second meeting becomes. Okay, so he's he's some he's some on some destiny. <laughs> he's on that destiny stuff. Okay, let's check the journal. Quest complete. Okay, so that was that was the quest. Uh, let's see. Can we swim in this game? This is actually another good question. Let's let's grab another save. Uh, we cannot swim. At least not directly. Let's see. Uh, he, oh, a lever. Hold on a second. Man, this really does feel like Dungeons and Dragons. There's so many traps, so many hidden passages. And then now we're up at the top. Wow. Another potion of healing. Fantastic. Okay. Man, this this is this is intricate stuff. With the level design. Like this is all one cohesive map. We were just in there under popping out up top. Okay, so far, very impressed with uh, what Baldur's Gate's putting out. This is very intriguing stuff. Well, I think that completion of that quest... Coming up on the three-hour mark here. I think that is a fantastic place to end our first Baldur's Gate stream, video, initial playthrough, first impressions. Thank you all for stopping by. Uh, if you're new here, be sure to check out the main channel and the second channel that the VOD of this stream will be uploaded on. And if you are a classic here, well, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for the support, the subs that uh, some people dropped here at the beginning of the stream. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for me today. So as always, you know that I'll catch you on the next one.